SE235 introduces a result type into the standard library, giving us a simpler, clearer way of handling errors in complex code, such as asynchronous APIs. Swift result type is implemented as an enum that has two cases, success and failure. Both are implemented using generics, so they can have an associated value of your choosing. But failure must be something that conforms to Swift's error type. To demonstrate result, we can write a function that connects to a server to figure out how many unread messages are waiting for the user. In this example code, we're going to have just one possible error, which is that the requested URL isn't a valid URL. Enum network error conforms to error. Case bad URL. The fetching function will accept the URL string as its first parameter, and a completion handler as its second parameter. That completion handler will itself accept a result where the success case will store an integer, and the failure case will be some sort of network error. We're not actually going to connect to a server here, but using a completion handler at least lets us simulate asynchronous code. Here's the code. func fetch unread count from URL string string completion handler at escaping result int network error returns void. Guard let URL equals URL string URL string else completion handler dot failure dot bad URL return. Otherwise, some sort of complex networking code. Then we'll print out the URL absolute string and call our completion handler with dot success and the value 5. To use that code, we need to check the value inside our result to see whether our call succeeded or failed, like this. Fetch unread count from hackingwithswift.com result in switch result case.success let count print count unread messages case.failure let error print error.localized description. There are three more things you ought to know before you start using result in your own code. First, result has a get method that either returns the successful value if it exists or throws its error otherwise. This allows you to convert result into a regular throwing call like this. Fetch unread count from hackingwithswift.com result in. If let count equals try question mark result dot get print count unread messages. Second, result has an initializer that accepts a throwing closure. If the closure returns a value successfully, that gets used for the success case. Otherwise, a thrown error is placed into the failure case. For example, let some file equals URL file URL with path path to file. Let result equals result try string contents of some file. Third, rather than using a specific error enum you've created, you can also use the general error protocol. In fact, the Swift evolution proposal says it's expected that most uses of result will use Swift or error as the error type argument. So, rather than using result int network error, you could use result int error. Although this means you lose the safety of typed throws, you gain the ability to throw a variety of different error enums. Which you prefer really depends on your coding style.